Hey everybody! Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up DynamoDB into your Unreal Engine 4 project. DynamoDB is a key value and document database that delivers single digit millisecond performance at any scale. It's a fully managed, multi region, multi master, durable database with built in security, backup, and restore, and in, in memory caching for internet scale applications. DynamoDB can handle more than 10 trillion requests per day and can support peaks of more than 20 million requests per second. In this video, I will I will show you the basics of working with DynamoDB tables, showing you how you can query and scan tables to access values from your tables as well as to set values to your tables. For everything I will be showing you how to set up in this video, you will need to purchase this plugin, DynamoDB with Blueprints. But if you are looking to set up a full multiplayer system for your game, I would recommend purchasing this plugin, Multiplayer with Blueprints, which will give you access to four, to eight, four AWS services, which are Gameloft, Cognito, Lambda, and DynamoDB. For example, in the next tuto video tutorial I will be doing, I will be showing you how to set up a full party system where I use Lambda as well as the DynamoDB service. So if you are interested in doing that, I would recommend purchasing this plugin. Alright, so here's a little bit of an example of the table that we're going to be setting up today, the kill to death ratio system. And as you can see, we can update the values in our table and we can set the values inside of our table. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. One thing I want to go ahead and mention is that in order to work with um, the DynamoDB table, we're going to need to update uh, blueprint values as, as JSON objects. And so I've been using this plugin right here, and I'll link it in this tutorial. And it's uh, allowed me to write any JSON I needed uh, in order to work with my DynamoDB table. So I'd recommend downloading this. It's free on the uh, Unreal Marketplace and um, it's been updated for all the engines so far so I, I've been happy with this plugin and it's allowed me to do everything I've needed with DynamoDB but you are going to need to be able to uh, have Blueprint JSON support. Alright so the first thing we're going to need to do is let's head over to AWS and let's open up our DynamoDB service and you'll be inside your dashboard. Let's come over here to tables and let's create a table. Um, as you can see from my table, we're going to add in a sort key. This is the table we're going to be setting up right here. KDA, so we're going to have a primary partition key of user sub ID and a primary sort key of KD so that we can get the specific user and then get the value of their kill to death ratio. I'm not going to enable stream and I'm going to leave everything else as default. So just give it a name, give it a partition key, add a sort key and go ahead and create your table with default settings. Alright, so now the next step is we're going to need to head over to our Unreal project um, after you've installed that whatever plugin you got to your engine um, that you are using uh, for whether it's DynamoDB or the entire multiplayer uh, with Blueprints. If you need a tutorial how to go through that in my first video when I set up Gamelift I show you how to install all the plugins into your engine so you can follow that. Uh, we need to create our DynamoDB objects and our DynamoDB streams, op streams objects before we're able to access any of our DynamoDB client functions. So for myself, I'm just going to use all the regions that I've created a Gamelift fleet inside of. But if you're not using Gamelift, if you're just using DynamoDB, you can just use the specific region that you created your DynamoDB table in. Like for me, example here, I used AP North East 2, so you could just use this region to add add in a value for your map right here and 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 add that to a uh, DynamoDB client DynamoDB stream client for both of those inside of all the regions that you're gonna have a DynamoDB table inside of and uh, we we need to make sure and do this before we do before we do any functionality with DynamoDB so for myself I do this in my game entry map which is essentially the first map you're going to log into when you log into my game. Uh, I first set up the Cognito user pool, but you don't need any Cognito objects. You just need all these objects. So after Cognito, this is the first thing I set up all of these objects right here to be used so that I can access all my Lambda, all my DynamoDB, and all of my GameLift uh, client functions. So first, let's start with uh, getting a value from our DynamoDB table. So when I click Get, 
right here when I try and get the value of that KD. Uh, I'm going to come to this function and I'm going to make sure the player ID is greater than zero so that it's a it's a valid player ID and then I'm going to run this query function and I'm going to make a request to my table which was the the KDA which you can see here I had a table named KDA whatever your table's name is and then I'm going to make a map um, and I'm gonna this is where I'm gonna use that JSON plugin so that I can take that player ID and convert it to a JSON value to get the user sub ID from my table so that I know the exact player I'm trying to reference and if that request was successful then I'm gonna break the query result I'm gonna get the the KDA value the number value and I'm gonna set the text inside of my uh, matchmaking inside of my widget blueprint to the value of this this KD number value inside of my table and that's basically all there is to it to get a value from our DynamoDB table. Next let's go ahead and set up the uh, update function to update an item inside of our DynamoDB table when we change the value so again we're gonna make sure the player ID is a valid player ID it's greater it has a length greater than zero and then from there we're gonna run this update item function and what we're going to need to put in is we're going to need to get the player ID as our key value for the user sub and we're going to need to uh, for the for the first value and then for the second value so for our sort key and our partition key which is going to be key 0 and key 1 and then uh, key 0 is our, our user sub ID and then key 1 is going to be the value that we set that to inside of our blueprint when we change that um, and then in reality you would be able to plug in any value that happens inside of your game right here to be a number value that would update after a game so that you could change the KD value of someone playing inside your game and as long as that was successful everything will be good if it went wrong we'll print string it but this should be successful for updating a value inside of our table alright and now we have used our two um, main functions that we're going to be using to work with DynamoDB and we did it on a very basic level inside of this video but moving on we're now going to be able to move on to much much more complicated and complex uh, functionalities it, such as like I said we're going to set up a party system so that you can invite and join friends and we're going to use that in conjunction with the Lambda service from AWS and I think that'll be really sweet but we need to first get the basics down of how we can update a table and how we can query a table so we can get values and update values inside of our table and use them inside of our project through blueprints so alright on to the next stuff